Our brain is protected from pathogens and toxins in our blood by a wall of cells known as the blood-brain barrier. But this shield also blocks disease-fighting drugs from entering the brain. Now, in a breakthrough at QIMR Berghofer, researchers have for the first time made human blood-brain barrier models from stem cells and then, using focused ultrasound, successfully opened the barrier to drugs that fight Alzheimer's disease. We were actually quite, quite excited that we were able to do this. Before we started this work, there weren't any cell models that could be used to model focused ultrasound-mediated drug delivery into the brain. We sort of then filled this gap. Here we are extremely excited and we are also able to improve delivery of one of the most exciting drugs in Alzheimer's disease research at the moment. Uh, so we are able to deliver more of this drug through the blood brain barrier using focused ultrasound, which we hope will be a terabotic breakthrough for Alzheimer's disease patients. What, and what was also exciting that the results were very consistent, that we were able to replicate this experiment many, many times. The focused ultrasound technology has been shown to uh, improve the delivery of drugs in animal models previously, and now the very first clinical trials show its safety in human patients. So we are really at this very last step of bringing the ultrasound-mediated drug delivery to patients suffering from brain disorders. Uh, it's a, a major breakthrough in terms of understanding the, the way that we can deliver drugs to the, the brain. By using our model we can identify potentially new drugs or old drugs that have been tested before that have failed and we can now see that we can deliver them more efficiently using this method. Ultimately my hope is that we can identify some, some new treatments. My mother got uh, Alzheimer's disease over 20 years ago um, and she obviously died from it. Um, a number of years later. Um, it was very difficult for me. I was actually working Alzheimer's at the time. Um, I really couldn't come up with anything at that time to, to treat her. If she had Alzheimer's today, then maybe there would be a little bit more um, positivity. And We're really on the, the cusp of being able to make some kind of difference in people with Alzheimer's disease. The important take home messages of our model is that it is, it is a patient derived model, so we can not only mimic the human um, physiology, physiology, but we can also mimic the heterogeneity that exists between patients because every patient is different. Here I have the Alzheimer's cells and I think the drug is going through. I just think it's fantastic work that's been done by young people in the lab. Um, Lotta and Joanna are very enthusiastic people that really are driving this work and, and coming up with fantastic ideas and, and they're the future of science uh, in this country. They've done fantastic work. Extremely special. I feel very privileged to be part of the team that is working on such a new technology. I do feel proud about this work. Mm -hmm.